Play. Alright, so this is part two of my Lily run through. Right? To recap a couple of a couple of things I remember from last time. Uh very linear so far. Ten frame punish is two four. Thirteen frame punish is forward two three. Twelve frame punish was uh one plus two or four sorry. Forward one no. What else? One plus two? Okay, one plus two. One plus two is twelve frame punish. And if they don't hold back, they don't hold back to quick roll, you can get a free down forward three plus four. As a matter of fact, let's see if uh if you do hold back, let's see if that could be punished. Yeah, that thing that could definitely be punished. So it's a risk to go for it, but if you realize that they're not holding back, you could totally go for it. And it'll hit him for staying down. Uh 15 frame punish is of course hop kick. Down forward two is 16 frame punish for a little bit more damage than the hop kick. Uh, easy mode juggle, for those of you that are like looking for an easy uh, placeholder juggle, is uh like off of either hop kick or uh, down forward two. Just do four one, down two, two, three, four, four, three, uh, hold forward one, two. So if you tap forward four three, you do that jumping kick and you hold forward, she goes into a crouch dash. And that's basically crouch dash one two at the end. Really easy juggle. The harder one would be what I was trying to do earlier on stream, like uh, launch either that or that into another down forward two, right? And then you do forward two three. Forward two three. And then the forward two three, you gotta go right into forward forward three. This is not easy to do. See? And then when you do, uh, when you do the uh, forward forward three, you go into the cross dash by holding forward, and you do three plus four, and that's a corkscrew. And then cross circle forward one two. And even that is only two more damage. Uh, she probably has better stuff than that that I don't know. But those are the two that I know of uh, right now. I would say stick with the easy one. Uh, Matterhorn Ascension is the one you might want to go for that kind of stuff on because it's 75 damage. Right? But even then, you could go for 70 damage, was it, I think? Oh, 73 damage. Once again, you only sacrifice two damage for a way easier juggle. So that's Matterhorn, delayed up forward four, and then you go right into down two, two, three, and then you do forward, forward three after the course through, hold forward, and then cor uh, cross dash one, two. One more time, bam, uh, 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 hold forward, bam, bam. Easy, 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 easy. Uh, what's up, Zevran? Your chat seems to be working. It works for you guys. It does not work for me. Look. See? Nothing. Blank. Blank. So, I have you guys on my phone here. You see? It's weird. I, know, I, don't, I don't know. This is broken for me, I guess. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Make do with what you got, right? I tried refreshing it. I tried re uh, closing and opening my... Uh, whatchamacallit? My browser? Nothing. It's not working. Four, two, three combos can each hit. There are better options, of course. Three, four, four, four. They don't hold back, of course. That too. The whole point is that you have to commit if they don't hold back. Well, you know, there is a little window there. Uh, did you watch the second tournament? Yes, I did. Frozen Zerker. I saw most of it. No, not most of it. Sorry, I saw a couple of top eight matches. That shit was too long. So anyway, we got that so far. Uh, another thing I discovered, and this is new to this game. I don't know if back one four was a move that she had before. I think it was. But what I heard was new is you press back one and then you hold forward. And she goes into her crouch dash off of that, right? And that is plus one on block. But it's only plus one for her crouch dash options. The thing is, one of her crouch dash options is just generic while standing four. Generic for her. It's not generic because it knocks down. It's unusual. But this, it's a while standing four, will exchange with jabs. Now, her while standing four knocks down, so I already tested to see if, if she exchanges with a jab, if she can follow it up. And it, that does not appear to be the case, because she knocks him too far away. Because what ends up happening... 
right? Look at the situation. See how far away I am? She can't get any sort of conversion off of that. I even tried mashing out down forward 3 plus 4. So, uh, she may get some unique Goki in that situation, but it's a little weird. Because I can't tech that. You can totally tech that. But, back 1-4 in general seems really good. First of all, if they don't tech, you might have noticed, for example, uh, let's talk about the tournament that happened earlier today for a second. Me, he connected Barnes 3 plus 4 one time. Normal hit. And then he ran up and did down back two on, uh, I think it was Kane and Trench. Uh, it might have been on Gunny, one of those guys. He did a down back two and it floated him. That is a reset. Lily has that going on off of this, right? If they don't tech, which is on right now, let me turn that off. Right? If they don't tech, it picks them up. Now, I tried various things to see what she could get, any sort of juggle conversion, and nothing seems to be working as far as getting a full-on juggle extension. Like, that is too far. Um, see? Uh, I tried that into wall standing too, and it wasn't really working. Even that, the cross app itself is not consistent. There's any Lily person I know. Rube Sky, what's up? Uh, you can get down four after lost any four sometimes if you're close enough. Yeah, music is very good. Woo! Thanks for the oh 619, the legend again, the silent legend. Thank you very much 619. I appreciate it. I always appreciate it. Whoever you are. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, Rubsky? Did I miss anything in the chat? It keeps saying welcome to the chat room as if it's refreshing me. Weird. The down four. It's not. Oh, okay. There you go. You're right. Down four. Generic down four combos. As long as you hit a uh, close enough area, right? Yeah, as long as you're close with it. Oh, good looking out. I missed that last time. So her wall standing four. There's no reason not to go for it unless you're trying to force a mix-up of some sort. So this sort of knockdown Marduk had something like that with his wall standing four. I think Giga still has it on his normal hit while standing four. And it could give you some uh, weird Oki. Alright, so this move is clearly very good. It's only negative 11. And uh, now that you know that uh, they have the tech to get up, I was trying to test... Uh... Thanks again, 619. See, yeah, last time I did this, I got a deep dash down for three plus four, and they had to block it. But now I'm not getting it anymore. See, I'm whiffing it. Well, point being, you could still uh, do other stuff. Like, you could chase them down and do a down back three. And with that sort of timing, they can't really do anything. They can't step it, right? So this is a uh, tech to her right, right? So if I get her to tech into a sidewalk, right? For as an example, right? She's gonna tech and then try to sidewalk right after. See? So if I get the right timing, see? That's pretty much like you have to block that. And in that situation, you can't low parry it either. As long as you time it right. Think of it kind of like a 2D style fighting, a 2D fighting game style meaty. You're basically sticking the button out before they can move. And also before they can low parry, because low parry doesn't activate on the first frame. And that will also be armor. What it what it will lose to is like wake up DPs and shit like that, because those are and uh, wake up raising storm, because those are invincible on frame one or hit on frame one or whatever. Right? So you mix that up with whatever mid of choice. I was just testing with down forward three plus four because that would hit her if you were to dash up and they would try to wake up kick. But unfortunately, it's not the case here. Uh, still, the wake up low kick isn't a threat unless it counter hits you because she's face up. So, and she's uh, if she was face down feet towards, then you'd have to worry about dashing up into a low wake up kick. If wake up kick does hit you dashing in, it's gonna be normal hit probably. So, you'll be okay. 
So yeah, this back one four move is really good. I was also trying to test, uh, I'm pretty sure, dash up after that. After forward two, three, dash up. This was supposed to be a good option or something. All right, well, I guess not. What I, uh, what I forgot to mention was after back, oh, not after that. After back one four on hit, if you go right for this and they uh, get up by like teching, she's actually safe. I tested that already too. I'll show you guys that right now. See, so if you go for the reset, it's a safe attempt. Completely safe. I'll try to get up the other ways too. See? Safe. And I'm holding back too. I'm not even holding forward, which lets her block even quicker. So it's a safe attempt. And you're good. And the crazy thing about that is. You could input that as down four, three plus four, and then hold down back to create even more space. So if they were to tech there after this and retaliate with a button after that, you go boom, and then you boom, you create all this space, right? And then you go for a, like a while standing too. Let's see if I can record that sequence. This stuff I'm thinking, this, this, this is random applications I'm thinking about of maybe that might work for this move, right? And if I just mash out a while standing too, let's see what happens if I try to swing. Okay, no. Not with that, though. Alright, see? Depends on what they swing with and how the hitbox works, probably, and the angle and all that stuff. See? So, something like that's gonna be good. See? In that direction, the while standing 1 2 works. So, this is one of those things where your mileage is gonna vary depending on who the character is. The ideal thing to do, though, is just, just to stand and turn around the block. Let him tech. In my opinion. I just wish I was able to find like a decent pickup, if any, off of that. But I can't think of anything. Alright, so. That was the last move that I talked about. I'm going to refresh my uh, dashboard every once in a while on my PC to see if it ever kicks back in with the chat. <laughs> God, that's annoying. Alright. So the next move on the list here. So we're talking about back one four, right? Okay, so back one four. Back one four, negative eleven, knocks down. Saw that already. And then back one forward. Uh, another popular follow-up off of that I've noticed is because of the plus one, some people like to go for that too. Because then they're thinking, oh, they're going to match because that's plus. So you go for that, which is plus six. Now, I haven't gone through that move yet, but remember that that's plus six. So that's another popular follow-up for this. Anyway, back two, which has a bunch of extensions. So we got back two, oh, of course. I don't know how, how useful this string is anymore. Back to by itself, zero and hit negative eleven on block. Uh, fifth, thirteen frames, thirteen frames started. And then back to one, natural combo, thirteen frame startup, plus seven on a hit, high mid, and negative four on block. That makes this a decent poke, poking string. Only negative four, so she could pretty much sidestep a lot of things. And she's Lily; she has the best sidestep in the game. So, she'll be able to pretty much sidestep whatever after this. On block. And then if it hits, she's plus 7, so that's nice. And uh, a little bit of space created, but not much. Plus 7 is good, because then fast moves to, uh, become basically trackers. Like, you can't sidestep certain fast moves. So, for example, if I do this. Um, not that. If I do this. Sorry, back to one. See? All of a sudden, her dot forward one clips. Other direction. See? If this were only like a plus one situation, her down forward one whiffs in both directions. Plus one situation, no tracking. Plus seven situation, you can't step all of a sudden you can um you can't step her uh, <clears throat> down forward one. <clears throat> Same thing might apply to her launchers here, let's see. Yep, 
Yep, same thing applies there. Hop kick. Not her down forward two though. I don't know if her down forward two naturally tracks to her right side, but that's the only time I call Lily. And then uh, maybe the same thing for her lows. Of course, down four is gonna track because down four is almost always track anyway. 12 frames, no way in hell you're gonna step that shit. So, back two one's good. Now, back two one you can recover in back turn, and you're still negative four when you do. See? <clears throat> By holding back, you recover back turn, and you're still at plus seven. Same thing on counter hit. So, if you wanna force a back turn mix up, you have that option. And then she has back two, one plus two, which is only negative 12 on block, knocks down on normal hit. Ooh, wait, no. Thought so, okay. Okay, here it is, knocks down on normal hit. Same thing on counter hit. Okay, they go back row both times. Still a nice chunk of damage. So that lets you uh, get kind of gimmicky, but it lets you try to set it up on block, not just on hit. Any follow-ups, right? Whether, you, whether you're facing them or not. Uh, I know she has uh, stronger mix-up potential from back turn, but it's higher risk. But she does have some super low profile stuff like that, for example. <clears throat> but I'll go over that when I get to the back turn stuff. So this is a pretty decent string. Let's see how it tracks. Very small gap, so if people were to duck the first hit for some reason. Oh, uh, well, not that small. Mm. So, no real tracking, though. At all, so. So, nothing to keep in mind with that. Another, yet another move that doesn't track with Lily, so you have to use movement to realign. It's a good thing Lily has good movement. <clears throat> Alright, so that's a decent story. Uh. Can I do anything about the last hit? Is it a gimmick or not? No delay. Thanks for the follow, fake on. So you can't delay that last hit. Let's see if it's steppable. No, it doesn't look like it. What was her armor move? Oh, it's a forward forward input. Hmm. Does she have an arm move that's not a forward forward input? That's her only arm move? Wow. Alright, well. The gap doesn't look big enough for for armor. Of course, I'm assuming like always with these strings. Mm. Kind of hit on the second hit makes the third hit guaranteed. That's a consistent thing with these kinds of strings. <clears throat> Alright. So next we got back three or back turn back three. Ah, so she can do that from back turn also. Oh, by the way, a reminder, this forward 3 plus 4, that's a jungle starter on the floor break stage. Only negative uh, 4 on block? Yeah, negative 4 on block. Low, negative 4 on block, low crushing mid jungle starter with the floor break stage. Forward 3 plus 4. Keep that in mind. Alright, so... Uh, this is the weird shit where she has some follow-ups. I know this. Uh, she has... Uh, three out of either direction if you press back three she goes to her left if you press back four she goes to her right 
Switch sides, please. We'll switch the sides. Yeah, so. Back four goes to her right. Back three goes to her left. <clears throat> you press four, you get a min. You press three after, you get a low. The low looks like it gives uh, either Oki or a free follow-up. Back turn. But it's negative on hit. Oh, shit. Guaranteed? Whoa. What the fuck? All right, just stand still. I didn't think so. Not from that far, at least. All right, can I attack? Okay, all right. And then if you get a counter hit, if they try to match wake up kick, I think that low is a jungle starter. That's the full crouch down forward three. So she recovers crouching. So if you want to do anything else. Like that. Yeah, that's not so good. Root of evil, maybe? Nah, no good. I'll go for that full uh, that full crouch low. What's up, Bosma? Huh, so that off of the low, that uh, sliding low seems decent. While standing two seems pretty good too. Guaranteed for sure. That will only need a normal one, but the sliding low hits it for 100% if she gets up. That's pretty cool. But those are only two options. The mid, the mid is negative six, and the low is negative eighteen. So the low has like zero tracking, I'm guessing, right? You'd be surprised at how, like, even though she's moving in that direction, how something can still be really linear. So depending on the direction you go in, that's pretty much going to cover that side. I even tried delaying my step. See, this is what I was trying to do before. Stair step. So this is super linear. The low is uh, does a better job of covering a side than, than not. So this isn't really like a mix up or anything like that. This is something that this is kind of gimmicky. I don't know. Is there a use for this? Maybe from spacing. Because up close, you're better off doing a regular side step. Of course, you could also use it as like a bootleg double side step, like like that maybe. It only stops a single jab. Okay, only if I jab right away. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. Yeah, so whatever. I mean, I know some Lily players like to do this from far away. I actually just see from random lilies online. I don't see good ones really use this move much, but it's there. 
No one ever uses these. Of course. Of course no one ever uses I just said that. But I'm still going to go through them, right? You, what you got to understand, those of you who haven't seen me do these things before, is if you're an experienced player, you know about most of this shit. I do this for everybody. Everybody. I go through every fucking move, and I try to tell you why it's maybe used a certain way, why it's not good, why you should stop doing it. This, not great. I mean, if you're all the way back here and you want to do dumb shit to reposition yourself or whatever, you could totally do this, I guess. But, uh, it's whatever. Anyway. Because the newer players in Tekken from... I've been playing Tekken for a long time, right? This is DR. I've been learning Tekken for a long time. This is DR. Right, really, I should say I played a lot of DR Tekken, and I played barely any Tekken 6 and Tag 2. Because I didn't like those games. The one constant thing I always see when I see other people getting tall or learning the game is... They constantly get told what moves to use and what moves not to use, but they almost never get told why. And if they get told why, it's like this short form sentence that doesn't fucking help anyone, except for people that already know a lot of things. It doesn't help anyone. That's why I felt the need to do this, not only for myself, but to help other people. So yeah, I am gonna go through the moves that suck. I am gonna go through the moves that you no know, people shouldn't use. I may come up with an idea for a specific application for it that people didn't think of. Maybe I don't know. People have like played these characters a lot, a lot longer than I have. I don't think I'm gonna catch anything that people miss, you know. But I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> and that's one of those back three, back four. So yeah, you got a supposed 50/50 out of that, but. You could just do a regular shaft of landing, but she recovers kind of slow. Huh, okay, so anyway. Uh, she, you can also hold forward after I at least go into crouch dash if you want. Uh, Alright, next we got back one plus two. This is her back swing blow. Just knocks back on regular hit. And counter hit. Is that... Can you hold back on that? Okay, you can totally hold back on that to recover standing. And you might want to do that because if a wall is near you, she's going to get guaranteed shit if you don't. She may still get guaranteed shit because it takes you a while to roll. But her backswing blow is... Negative 14 on block. So, quite a few characters can launch you for this. If you try to get too cute. Also, it doesn't visually look like she goes back all that much, but let's see here. Yeah, this is not a good one. Ugh. See, this is one of those where you need a little bit of space. You need something with pushback on block. Like, uh, what's, uh, like that? No, that pushes back too far, so maybe it might not. Whatever, I'll try it anyway. If you're gonna do uh, that on block, you have better options to set up for whiff punishment than that. So maybe not for strings. But it'll, it'll uh, clip uh, anything that's like a single hit, pretty much. Wow, even that? That. So you gotta set it up with anything that uh, that's spaced well. Whether it's because you spaced it yourself or because it pushes back. If you really want to use that. Negative 14, it's not good. And there's no, there's never any tracking with these, but I'll test it anyway. So yeah. All right, next.
next we got uh, back one plus four. That's just an unblockable. I'm not going to bother. Um, up back two. Or up two. Or up forward two. You could use all three to input this. So this is an auto sidestep left. Negative 12 on block. Knockback. No counter hit properties. There's no corkscrew out of it. I don't know. I don't know what the purpose of this would be. It doesn't like step moves that already track in our direction, really. So she does this stupid spin, but it doesn't seem like she steps anything. So you have to add a manual step to get some extra evasiveness out of it, I guess, but it's like. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what you would use this move for. It might have some sort of application at the wall. This is those, this is the kind of move that because she moves at such an odd angle, you might get some nasty wall setups. If they tech at the wall and shit like that. That's how I could foresee this maybe having an application. But in a neutral situation, I don't see a reason to use this move. But it is negative 12, so whatever. Next we got up back or up three. Now, this is a weird ass move. <clears throat> up three and up back three, they're launchers, right? It is 23, 22, 22 frame startup says here. Yeah, 22. Uh, negative 13 on block, so it's like, it's like a hop kick on block. It jumps on frame 16, according to RB Nora. Ugh. Now, the thing about this, it has a follow-up. And I don't know if that would stop you from punishing it. That's up 3-3 three, three, or up back 3-3. Three, three. Uh, see, I still got 13 frames. 16 frames it's rough at. So, I don't... Yeah, no. Just use hop kick. Well, it is high damage. It is a very high damage launcher. I'll say that much. What is it? 20? Is that 20? 25, right? But it's like the juggles might be shit off of it, right? Yeah, the juggles are shitty. Oh. <clears throat> I just want to see if I can hit this one time If it even works What's the damage If it's even possible She might be too low When you do the forward 2-3 Looks like she's too low to the floor for the 2-3. Um, I mean, that is 69 damage, but... Not that good. Oh, well, that's that, I guess. Uh... It also, it does floor break if you do the, um, that, which is, uh, up three. Uh, 
Up three, three. Up three, three, three plus four. Which is not showing here for some reason. That's weird. You could also do up three forward, and it goes to cross dash apparently. that going on too. According to this, if you hold forward after, up three forward, it's uh, still negative 13. Oh shit, I read this wrong. Up three is negative 16. Okay, up three is negative 16. This is even worse than I thought. If you hold forward, it's negative 13. Weird. And then that second kick is negative 12, but it could be interrupted. So there's no reason to not swing after blocking this. There's no reason. And does this shit even track? It's a pretty slow move. Nope, super linear, as expected. Maybe this is like a juggle. I definitely feel like I've seen this as like a bound move. It might be a floor break thing. Because, uh, does she, um. She doesn't recover back to her, no. Whatever, that's there. Alright, next we got up three plus four. Ah, uh, this move. This is one of those moves that jumps over mids. But unlike, uh, Ling Zhaoyu's weird ass jumping flip kick. That goes really high to the air, similarly like uh, similarly to this. This one recovers a lot slower, I think, if you get it to width. Uh, it is negative eight on block, though. Negative eight to negative five, it says here. Does it hit grounded? It do. I don't know if it would floor break, but it hits grounded. So on hit. Does this? If I'm not mistaken, you're supposed to do forward two three after, right? I don't know what the juggle would be after. I did that already, lightning bolt. I did all that too, but the point uh, point being, up three is just like a shitty launcher. It does high damage, but like your juggles out of it are only gonna add like six, seven more damage than like a hop kick. And in exchange, you make this move, uh, you get yourself here this really slow, negative 16 on block move, right? Unless you hold forward, and if you hold forward, you're gonna get a lot less damage because your follow up isn't gonna be great. Because you got to go into like a jab, right? Yeah, see? That's me holding forward and going into a jab. And that shit ain't easy to do either. So that would be me making a negative 13 and still go and uh, verifying, confirming the hit and going into a jab, right? So then you just ruin your damage because your jab is going to do 4 damage for the 70% scaling and the scaling is only going to get more and more harsh after that point. So it's like... At that point, make it do a hop kick, you know? You're going to get, like, not that much less damage. Or maybe the same damage, considering you're going into a jab, right? But this right here... Anybody know easy mode juggle for this shit? So this whiffs. <sighs> OK, 
can't even input 3 plus 4. Is it because I know it's too early? a lot of damage but you have to time that shit like you have to delay your down two two three which is just super difficult but that's the kind of thing that's easy to drop you know you have to delay that shit perfectly especially if you're playing online right which i know a lot of you are did down 2-2. Two, two. Too slow. Jesus. Uh, you can down forward 3-4. That slap you're trying to go for a wall. That seems a lot easier to do. Thank you for that. Oh, too slow. Mm. Man, even that is awkward. Why well, is converted is so difficult? Now I see why Lily players online drop this shit all the time, right? And then you do quarter circle forward one two there. I'm guessing, because if I try to do the forward forward three, I bet you the whiff. God, I can't get a 3 plus 4. Come on, game. Of course, you can't match that because then you've got the double flip. <sighs> All right. I just want to land this one time to see the damage. Ugh. I should just buffer it, right? Stupid Manny. He recovers kind of slow off of the back turn, too. Jesus. Uh, I don't think it works. I typically just do three after the down forward he puts four. All right. But then, uh, what would I do afterwards? Forward two? Or forward three, rather? Ah, oh, thanks for- <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Nico, thanks for the follow. That's Nico, from the Discord. Oh, you said three, right? I can't get a core screw. Well, this looks like a pain in the ass to cut it off. There's no, like, easy mode conversion. I could get a f I could get off of this. I'm trying to learn this fucking guy. <laughs> There's no easy mode like placeholder conversion for that. So I have to settle with getting uh getting Oki, I guess. Or if you want to break the floor, right? If you want to break the floor. Well, if, I, if I'm not that slow.
Wow, one damage. Shit. Alright, well, whatever. She gets some sort of conversion off of that shit. And it is safe on block, but if you get her to whiff it, it's pretty bad. See? One jab is barely clipping her, but... See, if I go for any sort of mid, pretty much... Even hop kick. Get the <laughs> weird shit. So you might clip her with jabs. It might be easier if, you're, if your character stands tall. Maybe some jabs she'll go lower. But yeah, if you get her to whiff that shit, it's pretty bad. Does she have to lay hop kick? Oh, she do. What was that counter hit? She does. Oh, I wonder if she had that shit before. So yeah, that shit is awful on whiff. Unlike that Ling Zhao Yu one, which sets you up to get launched if you try to get careless with your whiff punishment. But it does go over a lot of shit. So every once in a while, you can get cute and creative and throw it out there. But if you get that shit to whiff, she's dead. That's a fucking right. All right, next on the list. That was up three plus four. Next we got from far away, it just knocks down. She probably gets a root of evil there, right? Oh, she gets a forward. That's because she tried to get up. Stay down. All right, that's awkward as hell to input. <clears throat> Damn. Barely goes forward, and the root of evil. She recovers so slow that it's hard to get root of evil out of it. All right, so nothing guaranteed, really. If it is guaranteed, the window's super tight. All right, next we got up forward three. Standard hot kick, except she uses her left leg for it instead of her right leg. Uh, despite the way she kicks, I think the range is deceptively long on this. It's not particularly amazing, as you can see. But you would think because she kicks like a dumbass to her right side that way, that uh, the range would be shitty. Uh, it's not quite Lucky Chloe up forward three range, but it's not launch punishable like Lucky Chloe up forward three is also. So, hot kick is a hot kick, no tracking. Nothing. Puta. So yeah, negative 13 on block, 15 frame startup. It's a hot kick. It jumps on frame 9. Next we have a forward 4. This weird ass move. 28 frame startup. Jumps on frame 12. This by itself, negative 12 on block. This looks like a uh, Lee Chalan's thing. It hits you grounded. Okay, that's cool. It hits grounded. Plus one on hit, force crouch. Same thing on counter hit. All right, and then it has a follow up. Now that's a natural combo. Up forward four three. Get up. And then if she also has, oh no, she that's the only follow up. So that's natural combo. That is negative nine. My guess is you'll be able to sidestep it. Let's see. Either interrupt or sidestep. <laughs> now, I am Lily. I am Lily, so that doesn't mean that everybody can do it, right? So, I can't go left. If I could go right. Alright. I was trying to armor. <laughs> I wonder if since her armor move is forward forward too, if it's like Kazumi's where they gave it a uh, two frame leniency window. Because usually armor starts on frame uh, eight, but Kazumi's forward forward two starts on frame six. Uh, I know that Gigas's armor is uh, earlier also when he does the down three plus four, but that's because it's a unique move. It's like a parry basically that you take damage for doing. Now let's switch characters and let's see what other characters could do when they try to sidestep that shit. I'll try with Bob.
four three, right? Or up four four, sorry. Yep. And then we know already armor works, right? Definitely can't master it, but we could side uh, step it to the right. Now I'm, uh, I'm guessing that like uh, Jack characters like that will un be unable to, but them's the bricks. And yeah, as was just mentioned by uh, special special boots, special boots, you could delay that quite a bit. I almost want to say you could hit confirm it. Oh, I'll find that out when I switch back over. If you could hit confirm this, this is a pretty decent move. Especially if the mid has some counter hit properties, it probably doesn't. What holds it back from being an actual good move is that it's super slow. And I'm betting it's super linear. 28 frames, man. Also, it jumps on frame 12, so you can't rely on this as a low crush, really. Not a good one, really. That is super hit confirmable. Hell yeah. Okay, they can hold back during that. This might be decent for Oki. Might be, but I mean, she got better stuff, right? Look at that. <laughs> Awful. Oop. But maybe in like Oki situations, if you notice people get up doing shit, since this is hit, since this is hit confirmable, you know, it's worth using. 41 damage option? Knockdown? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then they don't hold back. Root of evil. 18 damage. You better hold back. So you could turn that, if they don't hold back for some weird reason, you could turn that shit into, what was it? Like 59 damage, is my math right? <laughs> 59 damage. Alright, next on the agenda. Also, let me see if it pushes back on block. It does a little bit. It is negative 9 though, so just backdash. It doesn't push back enough that I would say, oh, you could totally fucking, like, like that, for example. That pushes back a little bit more. Oh, yeah. You're still close enough that you'll get clipped if you try to get cute and sidestep. So, with this much spacing, I'm not going to deny just backdash. You'll make pretty much anything with... I'm not down three, apparently. But, um, see, her own down forward, too, which has good range. That barely reaches. At the very least, you'll be safe from any dangerous mids, I think. She'll have to do Root of Evil, which is like forward forward. She'll have to dash at you anyway, so. Uh, what's next? Oh yeah, let me test one more time. Okay, of course that reaches too. That doesn't surprise me. But you know what? Every uh, If every mid whiffs and her lows reach, then just backdash and duck. But that's just a Lily specific thing. If you are familiar, basically, just a general uh, rule of thumb. When you see this sort of spacing happen in a situation where you put yourself at negative 9, there's a lot of moves that do this. A lot of moves with pushback that are negative 9 that puts you at this like tip of the range. If you know the matchup well enough to know that your opponent has, like for example, long range lows but short range mids, then backdash duck is pretty damn good. Or backdash low parry is pretty good. Lily, for example, one backdash and then every mid pretty much whiffs except for 3 1. Right? Standing 3. Or forward 4, probably, right? Yeah, see? So she'll be able to clip you with mids and lows. Not the best idea to do, to do that kind of thing against Lily. But uh, let's say Miguel, right? 
he has to rely on some very specific mids to reach you from that sort of range. So just keep that in mind. And his lows were probably all with. Alright, so. That was up 4 4. Next we got up 4 3 plus 4, which is this knee. So up forward four, uh, uh, sorry, this up forward three plus four has two follow-ups. Matterhorn or three. Up forward three plus four, three is a natural combo. And it's hit confirmable, but it's a little harder. It's a lot harder than up forward four, three. But this is definitely a good move that I see used as like a, basically a safe way to low crush. It's pretty popular. It's also a double knee, so you get around counters as like as a bonus. Generic reversals, let's say. Uh, the up four two plus four by itself is negative nine, and the three is also negative nine, but it is a high, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't jail. So it's pretty important to, um, yeah, it's pretty important to, to basically hit confirm that. Of course, then you're gonna like, you're gonna think, oh, but that's what Matterhorn is for. Don't be a fucking moron. Matterhorn, you're gonna try to risk just because they might duck a high. You're gonna risk a Matterhorn of all things. Don't do that. Just turn this into a hit confirm, and then you make this a good move. Make this a good move by learning the hit confirm. How do you do that? You put uh, action one into random guard, and you practice. Now I'm not good at hit confirming moves like this, but this is how you do it. See? Finally. Got it one time. Oh, no. Nope, didn't get it. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, see, I didn't get it. Basically, you want to drill that kind of thing, and you'll make that a pretty good move. Uh, any counter hit properties on that high? <laughs> Knocks back on counter hit. Nice. It is zero on hit, but it pushes back. So this is something you use. This similar situation to the situation before. Where on block you put yourself at negative nine. Here on hit you put yourself at zero. So you could totally move around all you fucking want. And you're spaced. So you could totally do like a sidestep back dash. And you'll make a lot of fucking things whiff. And then you get your long range whiff punish locked and loaded. It may not be a launcher, but you can get something locked and loaded for that situation. And whiff punish it. What's your impression of Lily so far? What's that video games? She's super linear. And uh, she really has to rely on her movement. Surprise, surprise. I think she has, uh, because this move is so noxious, you always gotta watch out for this when you get up off the floor and shit like that. Any sort of knockback situation is dangerous when you're fighting against Lily. Just, a, just about any. Right? Oops. Right? Depending on the timing, you kinda always have to watch out for that down four, three plus four when you're teching. Cause then it also hits you. It also hits you when you're on the floor. If you try to match wake up kick when she dashes in when you're on the floor, that will go right over it. Wake up low, especially obviously. Sometimes it might interrupt the mid also, and then she gets to juggle off of it. This move is super duper obnoxious and important for Lily, and that is really the reason why she doesn't suck to me. If she didn't have this move and she just had everything else, just without that move, I would say she sucks. But that move really ties everything together for Lily. Because her poking isn't great. This is like... This and this is pretty much what she has for poking, right? And then, if you want to go better than that, you got to do Root of Evil, which is like slow because you have to input forward forward. Luckily, though, forward forward will help it realign. But it is plus four. But then she gets the fact that uh, her down forward one doesn't track at all. So it's like, what the fuck, right? Her 10 frame Punisher has like shit range. So there's going to be a lot of situations where you got to the setup for a 1-2. Now, her 1-2 is really good. Because it's actually this is actually kind of unusual. It's plus eight on hits. So just in a neutral situation, if you happen to clip people with a one-two, you could actually take advantage of that press your advantage and realize that they can't sidestep. Because her one-two is also only negative one on block. Plus eight on hit, negative one on block. That combination of things is semi rare, I think. A lot of one twos, I don't know how many of them are plus eight. And she's pretty much all up in their face. So you could fish for one twos, and then the moment you connect with the one two, you could go for a, a stronger mix up, a true 50 50. With like down three with something else. And they'll be unable to step it. So you think about all the things that they'll be unable to step after a one two on hit, right?
Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop. Let's try to be crazy. Nah, I think so, right? <laughs> of course, Root of Evil is gonna move forward, so you have to like delay it a bit because it's slow. The point being, you need like 18, 19 frames or faster, and they'll probably track pretty well. Obviously, down forward one will track well. Uh, there you go. So as long as you don't delay your input, poke strings will track. So one to one hit, it's a back to one. It's a totally safe attempt. Totally. Because they're negative nine, I will bet you that even if they duck the first hit of that. Sorry, negative eight. They ain't gonna get shit. Let's see. Like no launcher. Alright, I take that back. So if you get two obvious with it. So it's not a it's not a, like as safe. It's not that safe. <laughs> but but um as far as like them trying to step or anything or retaliate with buttons that don't high crush, even buttons that do high crush. Plus nine is a lot. See, I tried a Matterhorn there. You'd have to manually duck it. You can't. See, I'm trying to now eight wise. It's sweet. Can't sweep. Crushing takes frames. So ducking does not. Ducking is instant. Crushing is not instant. So they're not, you know, you can rely on uh, them not being able to crush. Also, of course, at plus eight, let's see if he could uh, hop kick. I don't think he can. Okay, so that low is too slow. But a down four, it's pretty much 100% uncrushable. See? No. Can't do it. Can't do it. Like a low parry, though. Because the gap there is only four frames. If she had like some sort of like 16, 17 frame poke, low poke, which she doesn't, then she would have an uncrushable, in most instances, low poke in, uh, after a 1 2 on hit. So unfortunately, she don't. But she does have generic down 4. So you can, that's a pretty decent option. That's always a good option. Decent. It's more than decent. Generic down 4s are always good. 12 frame lows, man. Always good. All right. So yeah. Nothing on counter hit. Okay, even on counter hit that doesn't work. Now, I don't I don't know if there's any conversion. That might be guaranteed though. Can she touch? Okay, she could tech. So it's only Oki unless you're near the wall. That's what it's looking like. Hmm. Alright, well you gotta sidestep with him. Four. I'm pretty sure that doesn't track either. Good range on it though, but not that. Okay, not that good range. <laughs> One back dash basically. So the range isn't that good. Let's do the three follow up. So no surprise here, but it is worth uh, noting that she moves forward, so you have to dash to chase her down if you get the uh, size up around it. Or else you can just take what you can get from that angle, too. I know that's using certain juggles, too. I don't know which ones, though, but I've seen this used in certain juggles. Fifteen damage, sixteen. Man, just do this into this, or or not. <clears throat> All 
<clears throat> 442 is next. That's her armor move. Her one and only armor move. Um, according to this, frame 6. Just like Kazumi. According to RB Norway. Frame 6 armor activation. It is horrendous on block. For reason being, this is a juggle starter. So this is negative 17 on block. I don't know what the juggle, what the best juggle would be. Four one. Oh yes. The easy juggle. Just like everything else. The hard juggle. Ah, two more damage always for this shit. Reset. <laughs> this shit. It's not worth it. I wish they made this could these juggles do more damage, because then it'd be worth doing. <laughs> and I delayed the three plus four. Alright, well, you get the idea. So forward forward two. Probably doesn't have any inherent tracking. Whoa. That shit. Lag spike though. Slow down. So here's where I talk about forward forward realigning again. So there's no inherent tracking. But the thing about most forward forward moves is you could hold the second forward for a bit and do them kinda late. Like that. And that will add tracking because, a little bit of tracking, because the longer you hold forward, the more you realign. As long as you're holding forward, you will constantly realign. So, I'll make the AI side step so you can see. Right? So, there's no inherent tracking, but if I hold forward for a bit, see? Now, it's, all, it's not going to hit her because she's step blocking. Well, I did there. You can step block faster than the AI is doing here, though. But yeah, as you can see, you add a little bit of tracking just by delaying it a bit. And the same thing applies to all forward forward moves. Four four three. See? So four four three is next here. Negative twelve on block, zero on hit. Right? But if you hold forward. It's negative three on block plus nine on hit. And holding forward, of course, goes to the cross hash, which means your cross hash follow will come out at that speed. So, with that advantage, I should say. So, hitting people with this will make every cross hash option unsteppable, I guess, right? Of course, that's homing. <laughs> oh, you could also do up forward moves from Crouch Dash. Ah. Wow, you could retain some of his frame advantage on hit if you go right into jabs. And then the jabs can't be sidestepped, see? Kind of like Dragon All, basically. You gotta tap up and go right into jabs. Wow, that could be stepped up. Even at plus nine. But of course, I could probably delay that too, right? Oh, no. I enough. Alright, this uh this jumps on frame seven, but it's a forward forward input, so during a neutral situation, like while you're exchanging pokes and shit, getting it to jump on frame seven instantly is uh, a little bit of, a little rough. <laughs> it's probably gonna be more like nine frames just like hop kick, because you have to input the forward forward. It does have a lot of range though. As as near as it is. And another thing. If people step this, if you happen to go for this in neutral, people step it and you go into forward, uh, the forward cross dash, it's a two, uh, one, uh, one, two rather, it's gonna keep you moving forward. 
So punishing him might get weird, right? Oh wow, that actually kept the real line. What the fuck? Oh, it's because I'm holding forward the whole time, so she's turning around. I have to let go forward. Weird. So four, four, three, three plus four. This is actually safe on block, but it could probably be interrupted if I already guess. Oh. Side step. Yep. Super linear. Got it. Oh man, but the camera's gonna fuck with your with your punish. Yeah. So maybe go for a string. Go for something where holding a direction left or right doesn't matter if you have that as an option. Otherwise, the camera fucking with you randomly might mess up your punish if you were to sidestep this. Um, this could also be used as a floor break, right? Like, if you were to end a juggle with that, for example, I could break the floor. Damn, what damage? That's a shitty way to break the floor. Four, four, three, three, plus four. Huh. Negative eight. Knocks down. Also, this will probably turn into a... Oh, no, it doesn't combo. On counter hit, it does, though. Four, four, three, counter is still zero. Okay. So the same thing, but it'll combo on counter him. So if this counter hits for some weird reason, this will give you a juggle on the floor break stage. That's about all there is to say about this one. Next. Four, 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 root of evil. If you hold back, she can recover back turn. Plus four on a hit. Uh, regardless on if she recovers back turn or not, plus nine on counter hit. Unique animation. You see the recovery? And she's right in your face, so you gotta respect that on counter hit. You kinda gotta respect it on hit too. Uh, it is only negative 12 on block. Not a bad move. It's slow. 22 frame startup on top of being a forward forward input. So it's on the slow side. Not seeable. But it is on the slow side as far as it coming out. So you will be interrupted if you're getting careless with inputting this. You kind of have to be sure that the opponent is going to just kind of stand there and not mash buttons before you go in for this. But if you get it to hit, down forward one becomes a frame trap. Um, does she have a 13 frame counter hit? She doesn't, right? I don't know if she has a 14, 13 frame can counter hit. What's a Londonio? No counter hit moves. Oh, wow, wow, right on cue. I haven't noticed any yet. She has counter hit strings, right? Yeah, I think you're right. I can't remember any counter hit moves. So the plus four is only for frame matches to set up frame traps for poking and uh and if they do anything slower than a jab, then exchanging with like hop kick is, well, it'll knock her out of the air actually. Uh, if they do anything slower than like 11 frames, they'll exchange with a down forward two, I guess, if you don't do that. What becomes stepable? Her down forward one may get tracked into one side at plus four. Yeah, see? Her down forward one tracks a little bit better to her left side than if Lily can't step it, I don't think anyone can. Um, that already 
many tracks to that side. Wow, her one plus two becomes unsteppable. And of course, down four. Oh, <laughs> never mind. 12 frames, no good. So her right side. Pretty much the move, the fast moves that go in that direction will be unsteppable. Oh, at plus four, huh? Lose the ability to step jab. Okay, but not two jab. That sucks because she has a two four. Forward two works. And the follow up connects. Nice. Okay, but not to the other side. So things start to get a little weird here. You got some mix of potential, but not nothing great. Nothing great. Not with plus four. But on counter hit, you could definitely force whatever the hell you want. At plus nine, you're right in their face. You force whatever the hell mix up you want. It is good damage, though. That's a good thing about it. It's a low that, like, hurts. Two of these, you almost got 50 damage. That's really good. Three of these, you're suppressing juggle damage. If you land three of those. So if you think about it that way, that's a pretty good low. On normal hit. On counter hit, it's like 27 damage. It's great. Plus mix-ups. <clears throat> Alright. And then from back turn. Oh, back turn might get weird because she has 8 frame jabs, right? Back turn jabs, 8 frames. Yep. So her back turn jabs are unsteppable in either direction. And her back turn jabs do more damage. 21 instead of uh, 19. Only plus 5, but still. Good. At plus 5, she won't step her regular jabs. Trying all her back turn stuff. Okay, her back turn two, good for both sides. As is back turn three. Uh, that's not gonna work. Okay, the most dangerous mid is no good. That's just, oh, that's a homie move. No, okay, I keep forgetting. Okay, so that's everything, right? Okay, good. So she has the back turn two and the back turn generic down four. Legit 50-50 that you can't sidestep. But in that instance, the uh, low is faster than the mid, so you can fuzzy it. <laughs> Damn, I gotta hold it longer, it's weird. Windows there. Is this stuff guaranteed when forward, forward, forward counter hits and you go into back turn? One, two probably is. You're right. Thanks for reminding me. So, yeah, one, two is uh, eight frames. So, that will combo Root of Evil on counter hit. Good looking out, video games.
Legit Link. It was a rare in second. So if you can react to that and you hold back, go for it. Also, another thing I will say, um, what was the move that on back turn was negative uh, four or three? Was it this? Yes, yeah, so you see how this is negative four? Back two, one if you hold back on block. Uh, this three plus four goes under, uh, sorry, goes over mids. Let's see if I can show that off here. That's back turn three plus four, right? So the jazz is gonna work, right? But oh, it depends on the on how like low the uh, how low the mid is. Goes over that, so it's not as good as like obviously it's gonna go over lows, but that's a mid. It went over it the first time. Yeah, it's not gonna be as good as like this because her head is still like. You know, in the vicinity to get hit. But it does, depending on the matchup, you can go over quite a few mids. But if you get jabbed, you're gonna eat shit. But then she has options to fuck you up for jabbing there too, so. Keep that in mind. It's a random aside, because I just remember that that went back turn. Uh, as far as this going into back turn goes, I mean, you do have legit. Uh, legit um, Almost a legit 50 50. Legit, I'm in uh, frame traps here, so. I don't know how many. So, back turn three is 10 frames. So, that's a frame trap. On hit. Uh, her back turn one, two, of course. Her back turn two will exchange with jabs. Her back turn 1 plus 2 is 13 frames. So you cannot jab her out of that launcher. I think it's a launcher, right? Or is it a counter hit launcher? Hmm, I don't think that's a counter hit launcher. I think it's a normal hit launcher. So she has some fucked up frame traps in Root of Evil if she goes back turn. They may not be amazing trackers, because like I said, I already showed you guys that the back turn 1 plus 2, right, doesn't track either side. Alright, so I don't know if it's a jungle starter, but it's a knockdown, so... I knew there was something. The damage is shitty because she has to pick up. This is really loud. Let me lower this. So the damage there is shitty because she has to pick up with a crouch jab. But I knew there was something out of that. Yeah, down back one. Thank you, Solidus. I just found that. Uh, oof, I'm lethargic again today. Sorry, guys. We ran out of coffee, so I could have had my coffee before the screen. Flashing into my fucking nose. Shit. <laughs> Goddamn water. So yeah. Her freaking back turn one plus two is a frame trap off of Root of Evil. And that's a jungle starter. Good shit. Good shit. So that low is key low. That's a very key move. And it just has a cool name, Root of Evil. Root of Evil. Alright, next we got this is new shit, right? Yeah, this is some new shit, I think. Uh, at least I don't remember seeing it before. So, forward, forward, one plus two. It's a homie move. Uh, I don't know if it does a tail spin. Oh, it's slow. Um, it's 18 frames, so it's not super slow, but it's like slow for a juggle. I don't think it core screws, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't do it. Fuck it. Uh... Negative nine? Huh. It's a pretty good homing move. What about counter hit? Alright. So... That could be teched. But once again, you're in position to set up. Oops. There it is. You're in position to set that up, like always, which means you can set up side step into whatever low. All you need is just the mid to keep them blocking standing. Once you have that, you could set up a low, which would probably be root of evil, right? See? And that's a lot easier to do because it's a forward forward move. Do you even need a sidestep? Nope, you don't even need a sidestep. That's good shit. <clears throat> uh, Alright, so when you hold this, she starts to spin. Kind of like Asuka. At one spin, it's negative nine. Which is what I'm doing, right? At two spins, it's plus five. Still a homing move. Uh, 38 damage instead of uh, 28. 10 more damage also by adding a spin. And then at three spins, unblockable. Now, I don't know if that's a high unblockable or a low. Oh, sorry, or mid, low. <laughs> okay, that's a mid unblockable. At least that has no counter hit property, so if you swing at it, you'll just take like a lot of damage if she lets it go early, but... Oof. My guess is, another thing off a of knockdown she could do is, since it's a homing move, and she moves forward, is... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, that's a big whiff. But if I tech, if I tech, I have to eat, I have to hold that. Yeah, if if you tech, you have to hold that. But if you hold back, it's a free whiff punish. But just guess here. Let's see. Okay, it's slow enough. It's slow enough. Good. It seems like the unblockable one comes out slower than the other ones. Right? If I were to look here. Yeah, no, it comes out significantly slower. How about off of uh, this? So how about if I hold back now? Nah, I have enough time to interrupt it. They know what they're doing. They don't want no homing unblockables. Kazumi kind of already has that going on with her fly grab. It's not homing, but her fly mid grab that you can't break. There are certain tech situations where you, if you attack, it's guaranteed you can't swing at her unless you're a Kuma or whatever and you have an invincible DP. Lukuma, Eliza with EXDP, or Geese with Raising Storm. Uh, but in general, if you tech Kazumi's uh, fly grab, especially when your back is to the wall, she makes you eat shit, basically. What's up, Milo? Uh... <laughs> I keep saying welcome to the chat room, so I know it's bugging out. Now, there, may, there might be certain knockdowns where this is legit. I don't know. There might be certain situations where, for example, you wall can't... Like, this would wall splat, right? 
Yeah, and she'd get a wall combo. So let's like uh, theory craft over here. Let's say you do a wall carry that sends him flying away like that to the wall. And instead of running up to wall combo, you do that. And then the moment they get up, bam, right? Now what's a good stage to try that on? What's a big stage? Stage you feel so small. Well, we don't need a big stage. I'll just have the character follow me. I think this is a pretty big stage, right? But do some theory crafting. We're gonna make this a slightly better gimmick, but still a gimmick. Maybe we don't need the. We could do the regular wall combo. Let me start the regular combo. Too bad there's no way to uh, set her to wake up and attack me. Well, let's see if she starts the sidewalk, then we'll know she can attack, right? So that's fair. That's a fair. That's a fair thing to say. Damn, no wall splat, but that definitely would hit her for teching. Guaranteed. But no wall splat. But it is 50 damage. You guys get what I'm getting at here, right? Like, um... And even if you don't want to do that, if they get up uh, early, you can do the second tier charge at the wall, and you'll get plus 5. So that's pretty good, too. I could see there's a lot of, like, crazy gimmicky... I could foresee a lot of crazy gimmicky shit. If it's not already out there, you could do some goofy-ass shit with this at the wall for sure. And just in general, if your opponent is scared at the wall, and they and you know that they know that this is like a move that at any point it's safe on block, and at any point it can wall splat them, right? And you can get plus two at two charges. Then letting that shit rock, and they're super scared, and they're not ready for that gap there. Fifty damage wall splat. Whatever. You got it. Pocket sand, exactly. Nah, I don't think... Uh, well, the, the idea was to tech and see if they could tech into an attack solidus. That was the idea. The only way for me to test that would be for me to record the setup of myself. But I think it's a fair judgment to say that if she teched and was unable to sidewalk instantly, visually, I think that's a fair assessment. Uh, a fair, it's fair to say, I think, that she would have been unable to interrupt it. Basically. Outside of an invincible move like a DP. Fair assessment, what the fuck? I can't even talk right now. Alright. So yeah, you could definitely do some pocket sand shit. But even without the unblockable, I think the you know the fact that the the without charge, it's without charge is safe, and then with the second tier charge, it's plus. That alone. That alone is really good, in my opinion. And it's homing. So this is a good move. This is a good move to use on Oki too, I think. Off of certain knockdowns. You just gotta know when. When they can hold back and really fuck your shit up for doing it. And, <laughs> you know? You gotta know those things.
See? That seems like a decent follow up for a while standing four. How big of a whiff is it really? totally cannot yeah my only option is to stay down and either wake up kick with with punish or get up in jabs it looks like <laughs> trying to time it to see if I get anything better time it right after she whips and it seems like oh I try to forward two three. Oh wow I barely got that forward two three in oh there it goes all right now we're starting to find it. Alright. But who's going to do this to you, right? <laughs> That's the question. Who is going to be ready enough to do something like that to you? Well, now you know that it, now if you ever see this, you know it's possible. Otherwise, I'd say you should totally try that out every once in a while on your opponent. Try that out. Or test them even further and go all in, right? That's a very useful move. But it is a very big whiff, so try not to let it get whiff. Recovers quite slow. <sighs> Alright. Next, we got forward, forward, three plus four. Drill. Drill, baby, drill. 30 damage. Negative six on block. Wow, this has a lot of active frames. You can make this uh, seven active frames according to Tekken bot up there. So you can make this zero, theoretically. So this is why people do this on Oki. By the way, I just remembered something. Um, wasn't there a knockdown or some sort of thing that uh, I saw last time where if they held back, they had to block this? Right? There was something from last time. Let me look here real quick. Plus five. Plus three. Plus five. Thought so. I thought so. So. Negative three. Negative six. So I know I've seen this move done on Oki, and I would always wonder why, but now that I see seven active frames, I don't think that's why people do it on Oki. But that's another reason to do it on Oki. You can make this better than negative six on block. Unfortunately, you can never make a plus. You can make it zero at best. Root of Evil only has two active frames, right? Well, I can't make the second active frame be blocked there for negative 11. All right, so this obviously is gonna track. We, I think that's obvious. But like with all other forward forward moves, hold the second forward a little bit, realign, and you're good. Not a bad move, it's just a uh, safe on block, 30 damage knockdown. That's 19 frames, it's not like absurdly slow, although it comes out of forward forward. It looks, it looks horrendous on whiff, but it seems to have pretty good range. Right? I'm trying to do as fast as possible without dashing forward too much. Yeah, I almost want to say you could use this as a long-range whiff punisher. 30. According to RB Norway, she jumps on frame 11. So this is not like a great low crush. 
but still good move and that could be a wall splat too obviously so that's a good move there's a lot of uses for that move all right next we have her slash kick her slash kick is not great zero on block at worst plus seven at best plus three plus four Plus zero. All right, it does push back a bit. I mean, all flash kicks push back always. Uh, slash kicks, flash kicks, slash kicks. But um, damn it. Ah, not much. Doesn't push back that much. Only a little bit. But zero, she can move. So whatever. There's not much else to say. Flash kicks don't track generally, or if they do, they track to one side. But even then, it's like limited tracking. So next we go to while standing moves. Um, while standing one, two. It's natural combo. This will be her 13 frame while standing punisher. Now this is like the noob Lily extraordinaire move right here. They love this shit, right? But what you gotta know is it is a mid high that does not jail. Those of you who don't know what jail means, I mean, I'm most of you in my chat know, I'm pretty sure. But in case anybody watches this on YouTube and doesn't know what jail means, it means that when you block, for example, a mid high string like this, if it were to jail, it means you will be unable to duck that high. In this particular case, you totally can duck that high. And then you can make her eat shit. Ooh. She recovers pretty fast. Do you really think any little players want to practice more to check out uh, their Oki? Well, guess what? I'm doing it. <laughs> they should. Lily players tend to, like, get free Oki because they do this move all the time. It's, like, the most obvious good move to do on people when they're, you know, it hits grounded. When they get up, they have to block it. Even in, in most instances, if they get up, even if you whiff it, they typically recover too slow from getting up to punish it. It's like, this is so obviously good for Oki that, like, every Lily player fucking knows this shit, right? But she has these other really good tools, you know? It's not just about this. She has good Oki in general. That's, like, one of the, that's one of the standout things for Lily. Just off of normal knockdowns. Most characters can't capitalize off of normal knockdowns the way Lily can. She has so much forward. She's super linear. But a lot of her moves have so much forward movement that she gonna, she closes the gap. You know what I'm saying? She closes the gap really fast. And she'll uh, force you to block when getting up. She could tell every time. You could take advantage of just about every knockdown with Lily. And that is definitely a big plus. If you're going to play this character, you need to like get the timing on these things down. Off of all the key knockdown moves. All of them, right? All of the key knockdown moves. Well, uh, not uh, that. That's different. <laughs> Those sliding moves are different. They're gonna cover too much space. But you know, key not whatever the hell other key knockdown moves there are. All. Of them. So anyway, let's test how while standing two uh, one two tracks. We're gonna do it out on, in a negative two situation. So her right side is covered pretty well. If it hits Lily, it's gonna hit everybody. Pretty much. Rule of thumb, I'm gonna call I'm gonna say here. There may be some weird instances, but wow, that second hit is super linear. So it's no good for her left side. But for her right side it's great. Probably because she's swinging like that. Now if they were to block it, it is oh. Negative three. You can also crouch dash into it. If you do a Dragon off style, down, down toward, or you can do the trick that I do, where you do the core circle forward motion and hold down and toward and then let, and then let go and do a while standing one. So that's doable.
<clears throat> so it's plus eight on hit. So she could force a mix up after it hits. So this is a good 13 frame. Uh, as far as non knockdown 13 frame punisher go, this is pretty good. Decent damage, 31 damage. And she's right in her. Well, she's not right in her face. She's plus eight with some distance, which can be a problem. Be careful how you mix people up. Um, off of that sort of pushback. She's close enough. Of course that's gonna work. Okay. So, um, most of her pokes. So she's, she's pretty good in that situation. Doesn't push back enough. All right, now she has a low extension. Of course, this is why this is the Scrub Lily special right here. Um, you could delay that last hit quite a bit. This is while standing one, two, four. Second in our counter hit makes the third hit guaranteed. It does that weird ass um, face down feet toward knockdown. So if she happens to be near the wall, she will definitely get something guaranteed. Mid-stage, uh... Hmm. She's closer. Yeah. I'm just mashing it out. Uh, don't hold back. Don't hold back. Basically, don't get up. Yeah, just eat the down forward three plus four. Yeah, just eat. It's basically guaranteed. But it's one of those instances where it's guaranteed, but there's a gap. So you could get fucked even worse for trying to get up. Just don't get up. Don't do it. Don't do it. <clears throat> you eat the down four, three plus four, and then you, uh, then you can sack, I think. Yeah, then you could suck. After eating the down 4, 3 plus 4. Now, for those of you that are Lily players, you probably already know about this shit, but in case you didn't, you could totally murk a lot of people if you land that low on them using this, sh this fucking setup. Because they're going to try to get up. You know they're going to try to get up. Most people. Of course, there's spacing. If uh, the low hits them too far away, then they could hold back and escape it. So the low is only negative 14, which I didn't know. I thought it was worse. Most people low period anyway. Right, just for good measure. Just checking tracking. Also, of course, you could fuzzy and then stand guard. There's no reason to fall for that into 
Here's a here's a popular scrub lily setup. So let's do it like this. I know you people who have been down in the green and orange ranks have seen this before. Fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. Down forward, stand block. Down forward, stand block. Down forward, stand block. Down forward, stand block. All right, next on the list is while standing two, 16 frames, negative 12. So she can launch from ducking uh, 15 frames with hop kick. Right? But if uh, one frame slower, you get 17 damage and a higher launcher. Man, that's a shitty jungle filler. Why do I sometimes see this done? Oh yeah, while standing two, she could return uh, back turn off of that too, just like her uh, down forward two. It's basically her down forward two. It's the same like, it's like the same animation except she steps forward, right? Now the thing about her while standing two is you could do it off of the, her uh, crouch dash, dragon off style, down down towards, right? Not like that, like that. And when you do it that way, it adds a fucking shitload of range. Look at how much range this shit covers. This shit is crazy. You scoop people up from downtown with that shit. I've definitely seen Lily players use it like that. So like you, you, you're kind of like dancing around from back here. You do a crouch dash every once in a while. You could totally have that shit locked and loaded the moment they swing. You don't even need a crouch dash. Just crouching and going right into it. It's already it already has a shitload of range as it is, but doing it at the end of a crouch dash has even more range. Uh, so yeah, it's negative twelve on block. Sixteen frame startup. Tracks to her right side. Once again, tracks to her right side. Okay. So nothing for her left side so far. <sighs> Next is while standing three. This is 16 frames. Ooh. 20. 17. The angle's weird here. Press four after to go right into that. That's while standing three four. While standing three by itself is negative twenty one. While standing three four is plus seven on block force crouch. It spikes obviously, and then they have to hold back to not uh, take free damage. Obviously that would floor break also. Um, plus four you say. 
And there's definitely going to be a big gap there. So it's pretty gimmicky. If people don't know to punish while standing three for some reason. Yeah, but if they uh, do block it, you get some fucking crazy mix ups. So there you have that. And she uh, recovers standing. She doesn't recover crouching. I thought she would recover crouching off of that. Pretty sure. Well, this might track. I'm not sure. Aha! Uh -huh, we finally got something. All right. Tracks to her right side. At least a little bit. And tracks to her left side also. Okay, good, good, good. Is it useful? This. All right. Next, you got wall standing four. What I will remind everyone is you can do all of these off of back to forward. See? Except for, uh, at least the wall, not all of these, sorry. The wall standing three and the wall standing four. Right? You could do that off of back to forward. Both of those. Also, uh, while standing three looks like a super duper low profiling. Maybe not. High crush properties, at least. A bit late into the move. Whew. Maybe early into the move. But once her feet go up in the air, she can get clipped. And if she does, she gets hit airborne, floated. Alright, so her wall standing four is negative eight on block. Worse than usual, probably because it knocks down. At least unlike Leo's, it's safe, but it does push back. I think that dumbass hop on that low adds so much range to it. Most characters will struggle trying to punish, uh, not, not punish, but reach her. standing four is pretty good and I don't know if it has any inherent tracking though yeah okay so we went over this last time um I think it tracked to one side in the plus one situation off of that right let's see oh no it doesn't 
No checking at all. Okay, good. Oh. Never mind, I was too slow. Okay, so her left side. <laughs> Okay, never mind. It's one of those weird second things. Doesn't track at all. Well, that's a wall standing four. 11 frame Punisher, knocks down. And 18 damage, good chunk of damage there. So next we have full cross down forward one. Ah, the classic. Nosebleed stun, right? Okay, so this one you don't have to hold down. It's just a it's a guaranteed fall down on a nosebleed stun. Sometimes you have to hold down to fall down on the nosebleed stun. It seems like they kind of nerfed nosebleed stun in general, though. Like, before, people would get free shit on you for not holding down. It works kind of different, huh? So that's guaranteed. So Root of Evil's probably guaranteed. I don't think there's any reason to go for anything other than Root of Evil here, right? Negative 12 on block. 14 frame startup. Same thing happens on counter hit. It looks like it would be a good uh, high crush. Let's see. Trying to see if there's a window where I could be hit. Damn. Yeah. This is good. This is good for like those high strings. Multi hit high strings that you duck. This is like a good move just to use when you dug something and you want to come up with something and you don't think you have a good enough uh, window for a uh, for, uh, while standing launcher or something. Right? That's pretty good. I'm trying to see if there's anything she can break the floor with. I don't know if Root of Evil breaks the floor. Alright, and then we got Full Crouch down forward three. So this is that dumbass slide. This is used in uh, Oki situations too often, I notice, where she becomes crouching, especially. Uh, 19 damage, negative two on hits. 10, count them, 10 active frames. Plus two. Okay. 
Of course, you can cross dash into it as long as you keep holding down forward. Otherwise, you get that. And then on counter hit, you get a juggle. She recovers uh, standing. I don't know what the best thing would be to do off of this, but you can totally just do down uh, one, two, four, and so whatever. I'm sure there's something way better than that. <laughs> Damn, it's trash. So this low is um, negative 18 on block, but it could be negative 9 if you manage to find a way to get them to block the last, very, very last frame. And it's uh, negative 2 to plus 7 on hit. Juggle on counter hit. So this low is one of those where if you knock them away and they get up, Negative 12. Negative 12 off of this situation. Instead of launch punishable. So if she were to get up and get hit. Plus 7. Plus 7 if you do that shit instantly. We found a plus 7 situation for the low. What's up, Chad? I got lit up by the Katarina play. I don't really know the moves, I guess. There's more optimal stuff, but they're super access dependent, of course. Check this out, Lily players. Your 13 frame punish gives you all of this good shit. So you should definitely work this into your arsenal. You gotta get a little bit of a dash in there, though. Plus one there. There it is. Oh, man. You do it, like, perfectly. There, oh, plus five. Look at that. You're, you're going to get plus something. That's good. That's fucking cheap. And then you're pretty much guaranteed it not being launch punishable. On block. That's pretty cheap, if you ask me. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. But I think it's pretty cheap. So definitely get to the habit of doing the dragon off shortcut down, down towards. You need to, after the 4 2 3, you do need a little bit of a dash, but. Same thing here. Look at that. She held back. But now if she texts. Look at that. Plus four. Plus three. Plus six. This shit is cheap. Oh, and off of back one four. Okay, you still need to, just like forward two three, you need to delay it a little. To catch the back wake up. Just a little bit. Not enough that'll fuck up catching up for te uh, teching though. God, <laughs> I hit her floating. It's because she has to stay down to be able to wake up kick. But off of this, since that's a hard knockdown, wake up kick comes out faster. Jeez. 
Sheep. Fucking sheep. Really good move. Really, really good move. Just don't do it up close. It's not good. It's not good in that way. If you do it up close, it's like you're kind of killing the point. Uh, what other knockback does she have that I'm not remembering? I want to use it off of those. So she uh, wakes up backwards. You're gonna eat shit, right? Yeah, she's gonna recover too fast. She can sidewalk and shit, and then it's gonna whiff. So don't do it off of those sliding knockdowns. Do it off of actual knockdowns. I wouldn't do it off of that knockdown either. So next, we got sidestep three. This is her mid, grounded hitting mid. 18 frame startup, but you're not gonna get an instant 18 because it's off of a sidestep. Uh, negative nine on block, that's nice. Because a lot of uh, uh, those mids that do the backflip on a knocked out opponent tend to be unsafe. Not all, but a lot of them. This is not one of them. Does that on regular hits? Guaranteed follow ups, you say? Now, what would be the best thing here? Drop kick, right? No. Oh. How about if I'm fast enough? Finally, we found one with guaranteed follows. Oh, that's guaranteed. Forward three plus four. That could floor break. That will probably floor break for a juggle. So you can turn this into a juggle starter. I can't think of a strong single hit other than this. Not that. This. And that's whiffing. Think of anything. Unfortunately, it being 18 frames means doing it off of a sidestep. It probably won't be great to, like, catch people that just do a single jab or a single poke every turn uh, for your poke pressure. Like this, for example. Let's see. See? Not enough of a sidestep for that. Also, one, two jabs with fucking Clippy, which is really annoying. Okay. 
As long as I don't delay my jab. But down for one it catches. But once again, the one two, that's not enough of a size set to deal with the one two string. So the one two string will catch you. It's too slow. So it'll catch certain things, but. You need to do a deep side step and hope for some big whiff. But at least it's safe on box, so. That's not that big a deal. This is still great. would be but there you go you just jab into it or you could probably go right to down two two three right or something like that so yeah that's a very good move Obviously, it's better in that stage, but still safe on block, Oki, free follow-up on normal and counter hit. Forward 3 plus 4 poly is the preferred follow-up either way. Oh, and you still get the plus 5. <laughs> you still get the down forward 3 setup. It's good. She's good. Well, she's not good, but that's good. All right, next, uh, side step one plus two. This is a mid that's only negative two on block. Knocks down. Wow, this is cheap at the wall. And on counter hit, she gets a jungle. See, we're fighting. She has some good ass side step moves. Now, how would she pick up off of that? You got to do a weirdly a really weird juggle because of the angle you get that on um, but still This is gonna be fucked up in all situations, but the wall especially it's a little on a slow side at 21 uh, Sorry 19 frames 19 frames why I say 21. I don't know why I said 21. No, oh, it's because it's 21 damage I was reading the wrong thing 19 frames So it's a little on a slow side as far as it being a counter hit tool But that's just icing on the cake as far as I'm concerned because negative two is like you can still sidestep You can do whatever the fuck you want That's good. And this is what else because of the sidestep move. The arm that she swings with is going to depend on the way you sidestep. If you go left, she swings with her right. If you go right, she swings with her left. That's a good move. I don't know if I see Lily players use this move, and I'm starting to wonder why, because that looks like a really good move to me. Of course, it's a sidestep move, so you have to delay your step, assuming it doesn't track. It looks like it does. Yeah, there it goes. You have to sidestep toward it. It tracks in the opposite way. So, oh man, never mind. You just have to sidestep late. You sidestep early, it's gonna realign itself and hit you. Uh, does her stomp floor break? Down four, four, four does. Root of evil, I don't know. Uh, this does though. That's not guaranteed there. Well, that does take 80 and 70% scaling. So now we go into the quarter circle forward moves, but what time is it? It's 
It's 8.09. Let's see what we got here. <sighs> we got Corsica forward. We got back turn. And then we got throws. And we can look at wall stuff. But I'm, I, I think I have a good idea of how to, how to approach using this character if I were to use her. Just with what I have so far here. That uh, her being super linear is still a major issue for her, but she has some very good tools. All right, let's go over the code circle forward moves real quick, and then I'll do part three, which will be back turn grabs and wall. Starting with first code circle forward one two. Natural combo. Not hit confirmable, but delayable. But the second hit is a juggle starter. And it's only negative 14 on block. On counter hit, juggle starter. So yeah, you can do you can convert that in multiple ways, I'm sure. Um, so this is a good move, obviously. Uh, it's a decent whiff punisher if you're already going for course to go forward, because she moves forward quite a bit. Oh yeah, there's that too. Uh, but let's test the tracking. There it is. Alright, so there's no inherent tracking. But since it's like a forward movement, of course, circle forward with forward movement, it's gonna have some realignment going on. So uh, if you input two, of course, circle forward one, two, and then hold back, she will recover back turn. Which you can get gimmicky with. A lot of people like to get gimmicky with this. Um, this is a negative 19 on block, negative 8 on hit if you go back turn. So. That's why they gave the two counter hit properties. To open up this. Uh, to open up this, really. That's really it. To get the hesitation to open this up and get back to your mix ups. That's the only reason. Uh, but it is negative eight, so it's a super risky thing to do. Super fucking risky. Uh, of course, I can one by itself. Uh, without holding back, is negative 12 on block, negative one on hit. And it is an elbow. So, reversals, regular reversals, standard reversals, eat shit. You can end juggles with this. That's a popular thing to do. You can end the juggle with that, go back turn, and if they, if they tech, you could force a 50-50 with that and whatever low. That's a very popular thing to do with Lily players. Like... And then if you tech, you'll end up right in front of them, right? Well, right, right, right in front of her back. Right? Well, maybe not right in front of her, but you're still in range. The moment you tech, she goes right for it. You can force whatever mix-up you want. And then uh, you can also go that, obviously. I think that's the follow up, right? Yeah, that is the follow up. All right. So that's that. <clears throat> Next is Core Circle Forward 2. This is a homing mid. Oh, by the way, Core Circle Forward 1 comes out of 15 frames. Core Circle Forward 2 is a 16 frame homing mid. <laughs> And by itself, it's negative 10 on block, negative 2 on hits, and on counter hit. No counter hit properties on the first hit. And then, course, looking forward 2 1 does not combo on normal hit. But on counter hit, it combos for 35 damage plus 2. Course, looking 2 1 plus 2 forces crouch. And then, she could delay. 
she could delay the second hit. Makes you think that she could sort of kind of confirm it. Uh, if you're using her, you could sort of kind of confirm it. If you just happen to notice that you catch anything, you could totally input that. Yeah, there's a there's a window there. You could probably kind of confirm that if you if you notice that you clip something. Uh, the second hit by itself has counter hit properties. And it is delayable and safe on block, so you could fish for that on normal. Like even even if you don't want to just use it for like the fact that it might combo, you could delay it and fish for that second hit counter hit either way. I said just root of evil. Oops, too slow. Okay, so that's not guaranteed. Uh, but Root of Evil, looks like it is. If you do it instantly for a nice chunk of damage there. <clears throat> so that's a good move too. Uh, on normal hit, oh yeah, I already said it. it's plus two. Or that second hit on normal hit, plus two. Force Crouch, so Force Crouch on it. So they can only instantly sidestep towards the background. Alright, so next uh, we got also out of, out of the air. Let's see. I have a feeling this used to be a bound move, right? Well, maybe not. I don't know. So that spikes too. So if you end a juggle with that, you could spike with that. Go for some sort of bootleg Oki. That would obviously floor break also. All right, next is course circle forward three, which is just while standing three. Nothing much else to say. We know about while standing three. This is definitely a, a use as a whiff punish. And when you use it from this range, because it has decent range, it's uh, extra evasive. You could just look. You could look at it. And you could see how evasive that shit is. But it is negative twenty-one, and the follow-up is still there. If you hit before, and the gap is still there. It's still plus four. Force crouch on block. Nothing new. Quarter circle forward four. It's just while standing four. Same thing. Quarter circle forward three plus four. This is a key Lily move. Plus six on block. High high. Natural combo. It's two highs, but she does. She's forced to do both. Uh, 26 damage. It wall splats. Knocks down. Knocks down on normal and on counter hit. You could do it out of this. Um, it's 12 frames. 12 frames. That means if you do it out of back one, I didn't realize it was 12 frames. And do it like that. So a jab works, right? One plus two loses. Standing four loses. And not only that, the jab will, won't even hit her airborne unless you delay at one frame. If you delay your jab by like one frame and hit her on <laughs> 11. That's crazy. I hit her out of the air one time. I don't know why. I'm assuming I delayed it one frame because there's only a two frame gap. There it is. Oh, if you exchange with her. So, the move is airborne on the first active frame. That's cheap. That means at best you get a 10 frame counter hit tool or an 11 frame magic four. So, you could blow this up with. Oh, sorry. You don't blow it up. You exchange. You don't blow it up. So, you get knocked back also. So, this is cheap. Um, no wonder why this is done on block. That's fucking good. That's really cheap. Of course... The idea is to duck it, right? Also, does it jail? It jails, so... It's not like uh, Nina's forward three, right? So, I've heard JDCR talk about in Tag 2 how this move tracks to a specific side. And it's, it's supposed to be Lily's uh, weak side, I think. This move, I think. And uh, he... Because of this move, he'll sidestep towards her strong side. If he notices this move is used a lot, because it is used a lot. I've heard him say that before. I might have that backwards, though. Wow. Damn. It seems weird to step in general. 
What about in the back one situation? So, in a plus one situation. So, left is the weak side of this move. But that's me sidestepping towards one plus two. So, I think her right side is considered her strong side. I think, right from what I remember. One plus two tracks to that side. And, uh... That was it, really. <laughs> that was it. Was there any other big move that checks that side? Oh, yeah, and if it hits you out of the air, of course, you get, uh... You get juggled. At the very least, it's a double hit, so it'll take up a lot of scaling of the juggle. And the first hit is very weak. So if she happens to hit you out of the hot kick, see, the first hit is only doing four damage. So yeah, that move is good. Plus six. And she's pretty close. Can't step or side uh, or backdash her jabs. Can't backdash. Ah. Lily at the least. At the very least, can sidestep her uh, down forward one to the right. But not left. Hop kick tracks to her left, though, in, th in that situation. That's a big, that's key. So the low, all of a sudden, the down three can't, cannot be sidestepped. Also, if you go to generic low, there's no crushing. Can't crush down four. The tracking on it is finicky, though. That seems to kind of push off axis a bit. That's it for her crouch, uh, crouch dash moves. That's really it, yeah. So, very, very important move. You could step it to your left if you're going against Lily. But it's plus six. So, that's a key, key, key Lily move. Alright, so and that's a good one to end it on, guys. Uh, I'll check that for Chad before I go. He says, he's asking if the forward, forward, forward root of evil could floor break. There's merit in using Root of Evil to Floor Break instead of Forward 3 plus 4, actually. Because Forward 3 plus 4 is two hits. So it's scaling. Nope. So. It does not. That does, though, if you get the stomp to connect. Wow. There you go easy juggle there for that floor break so there you go guys let me hit
Rocket Test. This is going to be part two. Okay, good. So it's gonna be part two whenever I upload to YouTube. I gotta upload the rest of Bob and then I'll start uploading this one. And then part three will be soonish. I wanna play more of that Alliance Alive JRPG I've been playing. I had a lot of fun playing that and I only wanna play it on stream. Uh, I'm going to go out for a walk. It's Sunday, right? Yeah, it's Sunday. I'm not gonna make it to the market in time. Or I might actually. Uh, and then I'm gonna go out for a jog. So thanks for tuning in everybody. Thanks again 619 for the donation always a kind uh, silent generous donor very kind person and uh you know even you guys just tuning in you don't have to donate but i i appreciate you guys for tuning in also so i'll see you guys soon if i do pop up again tonight it'll be to play some jrpg shit and then i'll finish this one in the uh, next few days either tuesday or wednesday take it easy everybody <laughs>